Finally, let's look at the evolution of these defect integrals in the streamwise direction. So if we integrate the momentum defect equation uh, on the airfoil surface where the stagnation point is at s equals zero, we'll get p of s is the integral from zero to s of the wall shear stress times our ds variable of integration plus the integral from zero to s of the mass defect, the negative of the mass defect, uh, times d v d s prime d s prime. These primes are just because this is a dummy variable of integration rather than the actual s, which appears in the bounds of the integral. In the wake, p of s will be p that starts out at the trailing edge plus the integral from the s coordinate of the trailing edge to wherever s we are of negative m du ds prime ds prime. This is because tau wall is zero in the wake because there is no wall, and pte is going to be simply be p of s corresponding to the trailing edge on the upper part of the body or airfoil plus p of s at the trailing edge on the lower body part of the body or airfoil. We can do the same for the kinetic energy equation for incompressible flow and get k of s is equal to the integral from zero to s of the dissipation integral on, on the airfoil or body and in the wake k starts as the k at the trailing edge plus again the integral from s t e to s of the dissipation integral and this is for the wake. So one thing that's very interesting to note is that k of s does not directly depend on the pressure gradient unlike the uh, momentum defect, which does through the mass defect term and the streamwise variation of uh, d u e, or sorry, of u e. Finally, note that we can break down the effects of the terms for p of s. Zero to s of tau wall, ds prime, uh, plus integral of zero to s negative m d e d s prime d s prime as this being the contribution from friction up to location s and this being the contribution from pressure up to s. So basically doing this integral all the way to the trailing edge for both sides of the airfoil will yield the skin friction drag and doing this all the way to the end of the airfoil will yield the pressure drag. It's a little bit more complicated than that as we'll see, um, but these are the contributions which end up uh, gi giving the uh, total contribution to uh, the momentum defect um, which is ultimately going to be related to pressure drag as we'll, as we'll soon see.